Well, being that this is a single team save, this is pretty important. The board has approached me with a new contract offer. We have accepted it. We have signed a two-year deal worth $21,500 a month. So not a bad, I wish I could make that much right now. I wish I could make that much ever. You know? <laughs> uh, but anyway, so yeah, new contract, two years. So uh, we're doing all right. Well, we have had our youth intake, and they're saying it could be a golden generation for the club. It's a very nice-looking crop of players, pretty deep as well. Uh, that's what? One, two, four, six, seven. Seven above-average players, eight, nine, ten. Probably ten players that we could sign. Looks pretty good. Thielmans is a winger. Berger, a left winger. Those guys could actually probably play soon. Bea is a right winger. So another right winger looks good. Marcella, center back. Needs to grow a little bit, but he's only 15, right? So that's not bad. Terhar Romani. That's a mouthful. Another winger. So we've got a lot of wingers coming in. Van Geldorp, goalkeeper. Tell you what, could we start another 16-year-old goalkeeper? This might be our future guy. Four-star potential. Four-star potential. Center back, except for his pace. If he can pick up any pace, Argentinian at that. Wow. So, yeah, looks like a really good crop of players. Oh, also uh, Merrick, the guy that we have on loan currently, right? He's on loan from St. Gallen. His contract runs out this year. He's played well for us. He's played well. Starting midfielder, defensive midfielder, uh, like a lot of what he brings to the table. And we have just signed him to a permanent deal at the end of his contract. So that's going to be good three-year contract so that'll keep him with us through 2055 he does have a one million dollar relegation release clause and we were able to pull out the uh, sell-on fee I hate those things so we've confirmed that so just a little bit of a uh, housekeeping business uh, I'm pretty happy with the youth club uh, youth intake so let me know what you guys thought about that in the comments so I've gone in, I've signed our youth players. This is a look at our U18 squad. So got a good chunk of players in here. You can see we're not signing a handful of players. And I think that's okay. Uh, let's see. So anyway, that's what we've got there on the B team. Sorted by potential, we have that. And, you know, I believe... I'm going to have to give him some game time because we have reached the end of the road with our young goalkeeper, Hakan Varal. 18 years old, four and a half star current ability. You can see his progress is starting to dip. His determination is really dropping. He doesn't want to be here anymore. And he has asked to be transfer listed. And I tried a couple of different things. More money, give us time. He said, he, I want to win silverware, and you're not going to be able to do that. He's probably right in the near future. So I told him that we would look to try to uh, move him on in the off season uh, with, uh, you know, when I could replace him. But I think what that means is we are going to give his deputy some game time so we can evaluate what we've got there when it comes to league matches. If we take a look since the last match, 
We lost to Emin 4-1. We lost to Fortuna Sitar 2-0. And FC 20, a 3-3 draw. Pierre Harms, Quasi, and DeVries with goals. And again, we gave up a late equalizer. Just And I think that's just talent. I think it's just sheer talent is what's causing it. And you can look in here, Nemeth played a 6.2. Shed a hole, who's one of our better players, a 6-3. So, you know, if our best players are playing a 6-3, I think we've got some stuff that we need to do. Uh, any transfer news? The only thing, I think we already talked about it. I do have an offer out for this guy, a center back. Let's see, outgoing. Stamen is leaving us, going to Telstar. So he's out. These guys are all joining us on the first. A lot of these were young guys that we had signed earlier. But we do have a couple older guys, so we'll look at them in more detail in the transfer window, uh, as well as Moses. And I'm interested to see what the transfer budget's going to be. But that won't be today. That'll be in the next episode when we do the off-season review and the transfers. As for today... Let's get into the match for Groningen and Groningen. Uh, <laughs> I know I'm Groningen. Yeah, Gro Gro Groningen. Groningen. That's how. That's what I'm going with. It's not right. There's an extra letter in there, and my tongue did do it. So <laughs> it is what it is. Looks like they're going to go with five at the back. We haven't used this tactic in a little while. Let's go with it. So we're going to go with Streltsov up top, DeVries, Van der Mullen in the number 10, Brower and Kwesi on the wings, Merrick at the deep-lying playmaker, Bunu, Banachek, Nedib, Nemeth on the back line, and we're going to go with Sayud in goal. That'll teach you. I mean, you know, honestly, at this point, I think we're up. You know, we we haven't secured. I haven't got an email that we've secured, but I believe we have. All right, we're in the blue and white, and they are in the green and white, it looks like. Yeah, that's a little, little awkward to pick out. Good clearance. Nobody out there to receive it. We're going to encourage the team. Brett is on the board early against Ultrek. And we're holding on to 14th. So if we look down here, yeah, we're 12 points up with two to play. So I think we are good. In fact, I think, uh, and that, but that 4-1 loss to him, and that's why it's so hard because they're in that playoff stage. Vandermeulen lays it off to Merrick. And it's stolen away. Oh, Banachek just got done. Oh, <laughs> some great, some poor defense, some great defense. Lindgren gets his 20th of the season. That was horrible. Nedib stayed home here. Quasi, oh, look at Nedib just got down. He blocked two, but then just the third bounce was more than he could cope with. Oh, my goodness. Oh, DeVries is in. Takes the shot. Oh, I want to check something. I'm going to turn these off, and we're not playing for set pieces. Just wanted to make sure we need to get some stuff done here. Uh, let's uh, demand more. Stretzlov is not happy. Nemeth, oh, he drilled one into the box. Tried to take that guy's head off with the dodgeball throw. Brower. 
Buru connecting there. Tried to feed it in, but that was not a good job. Banachek, are you going to get done again? Why can't... Oh, there's a good save by Say Sayud. Got to be happy with that. That's positive. I don't think he's good enough to be our starting keeper. But, you know, still, it's nice to have the opportunity to take a look at him a little bit more. All right. Let's see if we can do something different here. Well, Vander Mullen played it in, got an entry pass, but nobody was making a run there. Demand more. Oh, the volley by Boldwin. Bold, his first ever senior goal. Oh, that's that's just disgusting. Let's see if I can click on him. No, I was wondering how old he is. He's probably like thirty six. <laughs> Let's see, uh, twenty one years old. Well, he certainly played a lot this year, but his first goal. So good for him. We're down 2 0. Come on, boys. Ah, ah. Right into somebody's foot. I am really, I am so frustrated with that. And that could just be something that they've got in the game this year, you know, for stiffer defenses. I don't know. Maybe that's all it is, but it just really comes off. You know, we, we okay, that was interesting. You know, we we had the complaints for years for all the really weird goalkeeper graphics, and we just assumed, and probably rightfully so, that they just didn't have a lot of graphics for keepers in the game okay there's a defensive stop by us so maybe this is just one of those in trying to tighten the defenses up it's kind of like the only the only graphic in there is to hit it into the defender's foot i don't know don't know all right let's see what we're gonna do here all right, Nemes playing crap. Let's bring Cohen on for him. And then I'm going to bring Cohen in for Nateb in the center. We'll swap those guys. Move Ned about to the right. And Quasi's not playing well. We'll bring Blondell on for him. And we'll do that. Let's encourage them. They like that, so that's good. I don't know about you guys. I th I'm getting a little bit better at the faces. Sayud with another nice save at the post. That was a dangerous ball in. Boy, that's a large crowd for Groningen. And they get a souvenir. We'll take the goal kick. All right, and let's make our last sub, Bunu, for Snip. That'll work. Snip has not gotten a lot of playing time. He was uh, he was a guy we signed to be depth. Ooh, Banachek just got killed. And he is now injured. Don't believe I can make a sub here. So if we bring Ned back in, no more subs. All right, so let's cancel all that. So, Banachek is the one out. Hmm. 
Let's go off center here. Let's do that. Don't know what that's going to do for us, but it's only for a couple of minutes. We'll see it off. Hopefully we can hold on without conceding a third here. Wow. Empty netter. I don't think that was a save. I think it went off the post and it bounced right back into the middle. That was that was a weird. Yeah, it just bounced right back to him. Sometimes when the ball bounces that way, there's just nothing you can do. And I'm ready for the whistle to blow. We're two minutes over, and there it is. A 3-0 defeat here in the final episode. 0.25 on the XG. That's poor. Six shots, two on target. Not good. Not good. We're going to go hands on the hips. Um not happy yeah i'm gonna be honest with them i'm not happy so that's 14th position but we're still 11 up with and I, we've only got one to play right stretzlov is in the midst of 10 matches without a goal banachek gashed up her leg he's out for two weeks and psv will not be taking a euro cup via the Dutch Cup because they qualified directly so that will go to the next lower team so that is good so that's going to add a fourth team Harovan's going to go to the Euro I think I guess that would go to the fifth place team now by the way 14th right that's 8.94 I mean that's going to be a nice chunk of change it'll put us back in the positive by the way, let's take a real quick look. I know it's not time for season ending stuff, but so we're drawing 15, 22, 19. So we're almost selling out or we, you know, we have had some sellouts. So that's good. All right. Well, we have one more match on the docket here and it is against Ajax. Let me go play it. We'll be back to look at the low lights in just a minute. So a little bit of news. Our U18s won the Stage 2 title for their age bracket. And now our youth team, our young team, uh, has won the Areste Division Reserve Competition. Not exactly sure what all that is, but uh, we did win it. So that's good. If you guys understand what all these things are, I'm sure it's like in the Premier League where it's like the U23 level, but why they're not in the same division that we're in, I, I don't know. But hey, it is. All right, well, we're getting ready to play Ajax, so I'll be right back. I'm sure you're waiting with bated breath to see if we get drilled 8-0 again. Hopefully not. All right, well, we have played the match. Let's take a look at the highlights. And then there's some interesting stuff from their manager. Set piece, looks like it got a tip in, and it's in the net. And early days, we're down 1-0. We've got the ball coming back up. There's a nice little through ball. Quazy beats the keeper. I'm not sure how that one got through. I'm not sure Benali is the uh, starting keeper either. Remember, Ajax had everything pretty much sewn up that they could. They couldn't catch PSV. And DeVries into the box, and he beats the keeper to the back post. And we've taken a 2-1 advantage in the 57th minute. And they had a player injured in the 80th minute. Ended up being a player down. And we win 2-1. So that is great. Uh, there were evidently some uh, questionable calls, according to the 
manager of Ajax. Now, what was funny before the match, they asked uh, they asked him if you know we were performing above expectations, and he said, "Well, I think it's due to complacency on the part of their op- opposition, not that." anything their coach is doing. So he really blasted me. I don't know how we have a good relationship because all he does is talk shit about me. But uh, now he's talking that, uh, you know, we need to have serious conversations about officiating uh, to move forward. So Shed a Hull got injured in that one. He'll be out for two weeks. Uh, Vander uh, Vander Mullen uh, is going to get a a raise in his contract with one more match, but that will have to take place next season. I want to make sure we finish the day here. All right, so six point six five million dollars. I thought it was eight million. Did I did I misread that? Fourteenth position, eleven points clear. Everybody in this range should get 8.94. What's where's where's the rest of my money? Where's the rest of my money? Where's my other two million dollars? 2.3 million, dude. Hello? That's not chump change. I think I'm gonna have to go post that uh into the possible bugs and uh, see what they tell me because uh, not happy with that. Uh, Interestingly enough, Emin, who beat us 4-1, lost on the final day, and they go down back to the uh, second division after coming up with us last season. Who else goes down? Uh, Den Haag goes down, and NEC will be in the playoffs. So that'll be interesting. Uh, That other player that we uh, had a contract offer out on, he does sign. Uh, So again, that'll be another player coming in the window uh, moving forward. So I guess that's a wrap on the season. Let's take a quick look. I know you guys like to see all this stuff. So uh, leading uh, appearances is Varal and Ateb with 37. Uh, again, Varal probably gone this year. Uh, I could sit on him another year, but then I, you know, I don't get anything for him. So I think we try to cash in, make a big chunk of change on him. Uh, 19 goals for DeVries is our leading scorer. Quazy on the right wing with eight, and McCowie seven. Uh, Kind of a too big of a drop off. We're not having enough goals, and again, I don't I don't know if that's our players. You know, I look at these ratings and I go, these players are pretty good. But you have to remember, this is this is based on our squad. If you put them on Ajax or PSV, are they going to be three star, two star, one star players? It's hard to say. Hard to say, but. Um, the fact that we have such a big goal drop off. Leader in assist is Nemeth from the back line with six. Three players with five Rasmussen, DeVries, and Harms, all uh, mostly midfielders. That's solid. I like a lot of midfield. And that's something that has been mentioned and I've noticed as well. We're seeing a lot more through balls in the middle of the field uh, leading to goals rather than crosses from your wingers. So attacking wingers are less important in this version. And the number 10 is a little bit more viable, uh, whereas really couldn't get it to work in FM20. So that's pretty good. Well, guys, I'm going to say that is a good season. Taking a look at finances, uh, we are back in the positive, at least with that money coming in Uh, I do want to know where my other 2.3 million is so not happy with that not happy at all and I am gonna go post as soon as I finish recording here Uh, if we look at dynamics team cohesion is just average Uh, you know first year for everybody basically we had a lot of players come in 
Uh, club atmosphere is excellent. Leadership support is very good. Viral wants to move to a bigger club, and De Bruyne wants to leave to get better playing time. And he's a, he's a second division player, and potential is only a second division player. And if we look, you know, he's just... His passing accuracy is really good, and I don't think he's a poor player. But this kind of answers the question I just posed. Three-star current, three-and-a-half-star potential, but yet that's only a good player. So all these three stars are basically second division. They've got to get up to be four stars. Let's look at Banachek, just out of curiosity. Because he's a four-star, right? Decent player for most Arita VC sides. So that tells me that our best, our better players are entry level at this level. So I need to be looking at guys that are going to come in and be four star or better now if they want to crack the starting 11. Now, who do we lose? Because we, I don't know if we lose anybody. We do. Only a few players. So Stamen, Taruta, Merrick is joining us full time. He was on loan. We did sign him. So we have signed him long term. Taruta and Stamen will be gone. That's going to be good to get that 63000 off the books. That'll open up some opportunities down here. Uh, we're well under the payroll, but you can see we were still losing money for the season at this level. So, you know, we need to see what's going to happen there. Well, guys, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comments. Did we overachieve? Underachieve? Are we right where we're supposed to be? I think we did good. I mean, you know, we were supposed to fight against relegation. And we ended up 11 points clear. We really need to cut down, you know, work on getting towards a break-even or positive goal differential next year, I think is the first step. Better attacking, better defending. Um, I'm going to continue to build around passing ability uh, and, and pace, and I really need to shore up some defensive issues. But I don't know. You know, there's there's really not a lot. If we look if we look at three stars, and this is based on current. Remember, three stars is basically a second division player. So we're losing our one true Arita VC level. Banachek is solid. Nateb He didn't play bad. He didn't play bad, but he could be better. He could be better. So even that we could upgrade. DeVries, leading player for most second division sides, inconsistent. So I'm not happy with that. Knocks ball, moves ball to right foot before dribble attempt. Does not dive into tackles, which for a striker, eh, you know, not a, not a big concern. We do have, so our 15-year-old goalkeeper could be become one of the club's best players and potentially slightly better than Viral. I think he's a year, you know, at least a year away because Viral was, what, 16 when we started, started the get save and put him in. This guy has really improved, but still, he's only three-star potential. So I don't think, I mean, he's at a third division. I don't know. Don't know. Anyway, I got my work cut out for me. We'll come back uh, with the transfer special. Uh, you know what? I guess, let's see. I'm going to go against him there. Stir the pot a little bit. I know there is a playoff. So let me get up. I want to get to the point where we see our budget for next year. I guess we're not. All right, well, I guess we'll uh, 
pick up here next episode. Guys, have a good one. Take care. Bye.